Hey, welcome everyone. In this video tutorial about Diablo like Dungeon Generator, this is the video introducing the series of tutorials. So I'm going to show you what is the end result of the series. So we have a Dungeon Generator actor in our level and it's actually generating levels uh, depending on different metrics we created in this series. So this is spawning several layouts in a row. We've set up, we've, we have a different setup of metrics for each of these dungeons. So I'm going to show you real quick what are the features we developed in this series. So if I'm clicking on our BP level generator, I can use, I can open up the metrics folder, the, the list of variables we use as, var, as metrics. So we obviously created a system that allows us to uh, generate tiles of different size. Uh, we specify how many tiles we want in the dungeon. We specify how many tiles we add uh, after we generated the main pass of the dungeon then we specify also we, we can also specify a numbers of corridors that leads to the end tile the end of the dungeon uh, we can specify a minimum amount of cells to start so that says that if there are only four tiles that separates the start and the end of the dungeons uh, and of the dungeon it's trying to reroll the layout and if it doesn't manage to reroll the layout, it warns us. Max, maximum consecutive corridor is a metric that limits the number of corridors in a row, obviously. Um, extra connections uh, is, a, is a system that links tile that are next to each other, but not connected yet uh, with each other. So we can specify how many tiles we want. So for instance, we can say, I'm just going to just generate a, a quick layout. So, like that, let's say, if I'm hitting play, uh, we don't have rooms that are next to each other. So I'm just going to make sure we do. So we have, as you can see, we have rooms that are connected to each other. So I'm on this tile and there is a tile next to me and it's not connected. But we can specify that we want extra connections. And then tiles that are next to each other are going to be connected like that. So the step back chance is the amount of chance over 100. So it's that's in percent. Uh, the amount of chance we have to step back in the dungeon. What does that mean? That means that when we draw our main pass, the gray tiles, we have a chance to step back, which means instead of going further down the road to draw the, de the dungeon, we actually go, we step back on the previous tile we already draw, we already drew, and we start drawing the main path from that tile. So, and start tile direction and end tile direction is about randomizing or not the direction of our, of these respective tiles. And connect additional tiles is just uh, a simple matrix that allows us to connect the additional tile we spawned to the rest of the tiles of the dungeon. And of course, we have the list of uh, tiles we can spawn in the dungeon and we have two need two other features the replacement tile and the force tile which are allowing us to control the flow of the dungeon by adding extra tiles at specific moments at the beginning of the dungeon early in the dungeon in the in the middle etc and we can specify what type of tile we want at that location for instance we want a four way so a tile that has connection on all sides at the middle in the middle of the dungeon is going to add is going to add 
a four way in the middle of the dungeon like that you can see the yellow tile so that's that's an overview of the features we developed so i'm going to i'm just going to talk about the technical details of that series of tutorials so it's all going to be in blueprint so blueprint only uh, it's going to work in multiplayer so if i'm opening up our if i'm playing with two guys we can see that both have the dungeon. Even if the client has some, has, the client doesn't have the tile of the same color than the than the server, but the colors are just there to for debugging reason. So we did not broadcast the colors to the client's machines. But the dungeon is the same. The dungeon layout is the same. And we also created a, a simple logic that allows us to save a dungeon and reuse it for another time. So for instance, if I'm playing alone, if I like that layout, I can save save it pressing minus, then I can generate other layouts that I enjoy. And I can realize that I prefer the layout we recorded, so I can bring it back by pressing plus, like that. So this is it for, so it's working in multiplayer, uh, but there is uh, there is a little there is something I need to tell to talk about uh, the usual workflow you want to have when working with such a generator uh, includes uh, in I strongly advise you to purchase a plugin to properly work uh, using the the workflow of this tutorial so you can follow all of the tutorials without purchasing uh, this. This, this plugin. So I'm by no means am I affiliated to that that plugin. That's just a plugin that helps us uh, actually helps us build our tiles. Uh, so that's actually a plugin that allows us to level design our tiles. And the the ba without that plugin working with Unreal 4 only when level designing uh, tiles that are going to be blueprints in, in the end is kind of messy. So it's really easier to work with with that uh, plugin, and it costs uh, 25 euros, I believe. And but you can totally follow all of the tutorials with without purchasing that. That's just an help for the for the level design. So uh, I needed to talk about that. So that 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 series of tutorials is about 25 hour long. So that's a lot of time. But of course, uh, but not of course, not, not everyone does that, but I decided to put the link, uh, a download link to the description below. So you can download the project. So that project you can see there. Uh, so, and the series of tutorial is, I'm doing the series live, which means I did not prepare the tutorial beforehand. So I'm doing that. I, I'm actually develop. I actually developed the the level generator uh, for my own projects and i decided to record the videos so you could you will be able to see me debugging uh, a lot of times and sometimes it's long but it has the benefits to teach you some of the tricks uh, developer use to to fix their issues and uh, develop uh, games in general so that that's good and sometimes that that's a bit long so that's that can be that can be a bit boring sometimes, but it helps a lot. So either you have uh, you want to learn and you, you want to learn a lot from a developer uh, working in the industry, and then you can f so you can follow the tutorials. But if you just want to grab a level generator system and reverse engineer it and do do stuff of your own based on my systems, you can totally do that by downloading the project. In any case, if you are lost at any point in the videos, I suggest you to to carefully to carefully check that you didn't actually made a mistake. And if you are completely lost, you can download the the tutorial. So you can download the exam the project. I mean. So that's it. I think I also need to point out that some of the videos are have a bad resolution, and that's a shadow play bug. I, I because of my second screen and I couldn't get rid of. 
uh, I couldn't get rid of on all of the videos. So some of the videos are really uh, are sometimes painful to watch. I'm sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoy anyway the, the series of tutorial because it was it was quite a long it's it's quite a long series actually. But we are developing uh, a system such uh, such as Diablo 3 have. So that's kind of a big work. So that's it for that introduction video. Uh, I let uh, I leave you guys uh, playing the other video. I hope you guys enjoyed that introduction, I, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.